What's up guys, this is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of an Empire Total War, of my Empire Total War, let's play as the Ottoman Empire. And this is an hour special so we can settle down and we can take things at a good pace. So to round things where we left off, we have a few wandering Russian armies um, that may frustrate us in our efforts to, well, destroy them. So we're going to start by destroying one of those armies first under Yeremir Kovalenko. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I think, well, now I've captured Kiev, I need to, I need to uh, firstly upgrade Kiev as far as I can go and start to use Kiev as my centre of troop manufacture for uh, armies that are fighting in Europe rather than Turkey because it just adds a another level of complexity of transport and infrastructure, I think. Okay. Nice and simple load out here so let's get a bunch of our line infantry and our Israeli can stretch out a lot more than our Nizam and our Janissary Grenadiers but it's going to be okay let's put some Sipahi and some am I even saying that right Sipahi I guess so let's put some of those on both flanks let's put a Send out generously behind the line, our general here. Oh wow, they actually... They're actually quite far up. I am running my infantry on most of it. Let's place my grenadiers. Ah, it's my grenadiers that were causing problems. But just push up. are engaging, but they're engaging the artillery, but don't waste your time. Pick at some of these line infantry units. My men are going to be getting tired from this, but it's okay. The Russians are being forced into a killing field. No, not like that, like that. That's where I want you. Uh, Kidoki. So much Janissary down into the town. Okay. And you can burn powder, gentlemen. Let's line you guys up like this. You get some of you chaps in the town. Our grenadiers can hold the gap. You know, Nizam can come out here where it's a bit wider and be covered by our cavalry. The music's changed. There we go. I don't want to commit all my cavalry to fighting them. My heavy cavalry will be enough to destroy their lights. take them out but they are shattered anyway so that's okay get you guys out of square march you in a bit bit of a better position on the flank push up my grenadiers and my 
there's some infantry here, they're in a bad place. Run my grenadiers around the flank. I'm trying to draw the, the net closed. charge you guys pick out the 9th regiment to make sure they die actually you guys pick out their light horse my mamelukes chase down their infantry so I've got my sepahi here involved my semat are about to charge the line of foot in the rear my janissaries are also getting involved Let's get my general down here as well. Okay, let's get even more careful with my artillery. In fact, so much so I might not even drop it at all. going exactly how I how you want it to go how you want a battle like this to go you guys stop firing shattered let's turn you guys around just try to get my general to intercept the light horse going to get away. Damn right you want to continue. But let's speed up time a little bit. Shattered, 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 shattered. Let's just mow down everyone left because they're all shattered now so it's not going to make a difference on the campaign map but this is the kind of mopping up behind the lines action that you need to undertake because the AI does love just raiding you with small armies good stuff Decisive victory, damn right. Good win, Mr. Kovalenko. His army is pushed back. March. You guys can. We well, can't replenish with anything. I don't want to advance these guys up too far because they do have this Austrian army. You guys. Get into the craft workshop and raid that. Just to stay within range of Transylvania. 21 grand next turn. And we are still growing our armies. So we are going get to get into a scrap with this Prussian army here. I'm sending two just to make sure I do catch them. Comey is upset, but that won't last. Okay, let's check out my religion situation. We are actually converting Moscow. So Ufa is just about to get rid of its last religious unrest, and then we'll push my priest on. This area has no religious unrest, so I'm probably going to move him on into Kiev. You move up to the bridgehead here. 
Ok, our tech's advancing, we're getting some nice techs in the next couple of turns, but let's just hit in turn to watch all my agents move into position. Don't try it, Spain. <laughs> they better not start anything. Although this goes to show just how not really worth it those rear Russian territories are. I con I've conquered a lot of Russian territory, but I'm still not really rolling in the dough. Ah, the Prussians are going to come and raid one of my ports. Yep, so that's... Oh my god, that's utterly defeat, depleted. Let's just auto-resolve that. So we managed to kill 200 men for free. And we are going to intercept. And I think I need to spend a bit more time churning out some more warships. Sweden's landed and they've taken... They've taken Lisbon. Louisiana's keeping Britain occupied. But yeah, I feel more comfortable with my strategy to advance up and around Prussia rather than, or not up and around, but you know. I feel more comfortable with my strategy to swing in this direction and capture Moscow and some of these northern territories before thinning my front line down here between the Caspian Mountains. Caspian Carpathian Mountains, that's the one. You're a unit down, but is someone running to meet up with you? Nope. I mean, you've got a lot of artillery. So probably just like some bog standard infantry, really. Not my Nizam. Well, I better, to be honest, I better get Nizam. It'll take them six turns to get here, which would be a bit of a bummer, but... Let's take you guys in advance up towards Moscow. You guys are probably going to go intercept that Russian army. First, let's do a bit of economy investing. Well, first, first, truly first. Ah, my navy's already deployed. Okay, let's take our two firsts. Baptism of fire. And let's go take this Prussian navy ship. Because I actually want it this time. I want it and I don't want to risk losing any... I don't want to risk losing my ships. Two firsts will be more than enough. But yeah, I want to capture their secondary and I want to not lose my ships. Sail straight more, sail a bit more into them. <laughs> God damn, these ships are so slow. But the net result is it will be a another large ship to add to our navy for free. So the, de the designs on these ships look great. I have no idea as to the historical accuracy. I mean, generally things look right and, you know, it looks like a ship to me. So this first fella is going to go through with a broadside, and this other fella is going to... Probably 
and we do something like this. Pivot and provide punishing long range fire. Although it's definitely the wrong side to do this. Things start to catch up. Come on, son, pivot. I'm not going to pivot fast. Oh no, I am. Not pivoting fast enough. Fire. Let's increase the speed, because right now these... Heavy ship duets are just a bit. I hate how my standard direction of travel is not at full sail. Let's see if I can spin this fellow around and get within range. Trap speeding it until something more decisive happens. He's not withdrawing, he's just. I think also the forward guns here. If I click round shot. I really want to knock a mass down. There goes our main mist. And you guys fire it well. Fire as she bears. Boom, 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 boom. Brommy, there goes the second mast. You just hunker down there. You just hunker down here. There go, this fella should be ours. Can't steer this ship right. A lot of death. Okay, let's just triple speed it now. Because this fellow is going down. Well, it does highlight the amount of damage these ships can put up with, especially at higher rates. Because that's a lot of firepower coming out from these ships. The musketmen are engaging, trying to pick off the crew. Damn right you've surrendered. Whew. There we go. Bring you into Ottoman service. Let's get you back to Antalya. Also recruit two seconds. And this fellow can go 
to the Crimea instead. Spend some money voting up the mine. Upgrade this farm, because farms are just good investments. Good, they're, good, they're just good things to buy anyway. Pick up this average yield farmland. Because some of these places do have towns. Samara is developing. But you're on your way there. You're moving up. This and Yand Ahmed city. He is going to go intercept Isidore Stulpagnel. Oh no, they're not in range. Well, you guys may as well attack. Well, that's not even really an attack, is it? It's to auto that battle. March. Plant as much as you can and let's hit end turn. See, by having those forces in between, in by the Carpathian Mountains, we are forcing them to go around rather than through, which is, it's got to be a good thing. Obviously, they just run straight past us because we ran out of movement points just short of them. Realistically, I need to do some more investing in my economy. Because right now we should be firing on all cylinders, but we aren't. I mean, I know we've got a lot of troops and a lot of ships, but still. Imam in Serbia. Well, Serbia's being converted, Klausenberg's being converted, Laval's being converted, Hungary's got a guy. Let's go over to Sarajevo. New port emerges, Burgas in Bulgaria. Let's get another trade port, not for the trade, but for the money. Yeah, you've got a long walk. Because farms make, they make a bit of extra cash. But they also reduce unhappiness. Or at least they remove a, a previous unha un unhappiness from industrialization, which is pretty useful. Let's upgrade this chapter for commercial basing because they're trading. Let's go up to Kiev and let's upgrade their ordnance factory. You guys can replenish and see if you can go here. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping I'd have enough movement points to uh, be able to attack them. Let's move up to the Weaver's Cottage. Doing very well converting the population to Islam in Moscow. Now these guys rebelled and they broke the craft workshops, the silly billies. Upgrade the Madrasa, which means this agent can move on to Komi. Astrakhan. I could do some road building, really. I mean, this is a very depleted army. So I demand their surrender. Nope. Very depleted army. March up to Archangel. You spy around here. Okay, let's drop some more money on whatever I can buy, which is probably going to be nothing. Okay, so let's check our techs. You're doing short on carbines, no. Do platoon firing to get the plus one training level. And increase management for army administration to get our costs down. Comanche. 
you're on steam pub land drainage which is good i think you're on steam engines and we raid in brody it's more buildings workers rioted in comey but now they're okay we'll start to get a lot better once we've uh, converted their population you need more everything really you've got one light infantry so let's not waste this turn let's recruit another light infantry some more second rates are joining our navy we can only trade with Dagestan but I might use this army to kill Dagestan and just sit here and wait wait for orders to attack some successful missions We've recaptured this territory and I don't think they've destroyed anything still doing a good job of converting the population okay let's hit end turn one of our preachers got upgraded As our armies move on. Oh, the Brits are landing in America once more. Yeah, they are growing in strength on the front lines, but I think I can hold them there. Pretty sure I can hold them. I mean, yeah, they're not going to let the uh, they're not going to let Moscow go without a fight. So let's. Hmm. Do we let them come? Some... Hmm, we might do. To be honest, I think I might. Even if this army ends up getting, I'm not sure why. I'm... I don't know why I'm sat here going. But what if they get destroyed? They shouldn't get destroyed. But as an opportunity to chew up a Prussian army before some more powerful forces get here, then why the hell not? Let's do this. So you're on the nice flat ground back here. I've not got as much infantry as I'd like, so my quick climbing howitzers need to do work. In fact, it's probably not as good as still. Let's end up putting two two units in the centre. To give my guns a bit more protection. Even then, protection is a relative term. So let's deploy these chaps ahead to deploy spikes. Deploy our cavalry to the flanks. Deploy some ammunition guards on the right. Deploy our pikes in either direction then our main source of firepower and our general so my riflemen their job is to plant some stakes may as well have my foot artillery fire round shot Oh, my artillery's done. That's a good salvo. They killed the handful of chaps of the fry court to the rear. That's my heart that's coming in. You get over onto that flank. You guys. To be honest, you, these guys can get behind the wall. My infantry, my line infantry just needs to stay where it is. 
think when you fire got his artillery coming in when you fire um, when you sit behind a wall you do end up losing fire by rank They're massing their cavalry on that flank, in which case then I'm going to mass my pikes over there with my cavalry. As the foot artillery just annihilates their emplacements. I'm seeing my Howitzers drop some good quick lime shells on them. Good. May as well weaken their cavalry. But let's get these guys back onto the more traditional job of killing their. Killing their uh, infantry. You guys aren't going to get a good shot off on them. Because you're behind a hill. Oh, having a go. start to thin their line out. So one of you. Too bad. You're still hitting the cavalry. Riflemen are picking at the Lancer Guards, not that they'll hit any of them because they haven't got any line of sight. Deploy my Mamluk Guards and my Camel Nomads in to fight the Grenadier Guards. Charge has been halted. So these guys are marching to the combat. This regiment of horse, but they are being picked apart by our grenadiers, by my uh, skirmishers. Pikes into the cavalry combat, change the focus of our artillery. Excellent. My artillery units have broken their their artillery. Here would be beautiful. Or even some flat artillery hits. But quick, quick line would be excellent. There they go. Oh, that was good. That's even better. 
This concentration of men need to die. Pivot you guys like so. So I can get you firing again. Probably pull a unit of pikemen out just to provide you with some support. This kind of against this kind of attack. Eh, they may shatter my skirmishes, or they might not, depending on if they get shot to pieces on the way in. Do you have Swiss pikemen? They are getting quick line. Yes. There we go. Now they run into the muzzles of our guns. unit. Both form square. Send Garbide off for my pikes. And charge them into the flank of the Swiss line. You guys fire well off. Swiss guards. Nope, I pulled you away from those squares. Swiss line holding out well against my pikes but I need them to die so I can spin over and fight against these guards that are being held up by one lone unit of Israeli. Good, smash their cavalry. Come on, these men are shaken. Of course they're shaking, they're being attacked by a bunch of guys with pointy sticks. Riflemen pour pouring accurate fire into the rear of those pikemen. Get our artillery back on the round shot. To be honest, this is turn of how it's off. Good. Got 
let's charge into the back of these guards. And my count, my infantry is held up quite well here. Good, and they're shattered. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Charge the Lancer Guards. Freikor shattered, shattered. Just routing. Still going to continue though. Just hot fire with all my artillery. Whoever we like. Oh, well, they are shattered as well. Good stuff. There you go. Camel's not on the grenadiers. Set them to chase after you know Swiss line, but they're never going to get there. And there's a unit over there that's going to flank, going to rout, but they too are shattered. Close. That wasn't close. That was a good victory. That's what that was. Devastated them with artillery fire. They're down to 400 men. And my men got significantly more experienced. As a result of that, they've actually lost most of their garrison. Or well, they don't get much of a garrison in Moscow. Which, naturally, is lovely. So our money is slowly going... Oh no, it's actually gone back up that turn. Well, this army can make ready and lay siege to the city of Moscow. We might attack it, actually, because it's so weak. I just want to do some admin first. I will do it. Don't get me wrong. This isn't me going, I'm going to do some admin to try and find a way to not carry on. New town emerges. Samara and Astrakhan. Build some Pasha's palaces. Upgrade this to it. Oh, because we've got um, steam engines now, don't we? Steam-powered cloth mills. That is now order of the day. And steam engine factories. Our economy is about to get lifted. Natural causes. Die from natural causes with this family. Hey, I forgot all about this guy out here. And another guy, Eastern Scholar. Died naturally. Steam engine. Some metal roads, some governor's residences. Should really build better roads back here. But yeah, you continue to march on. You will attack this guy, but that's not what I'm going to do now. You're going to go up to there instead. You're going to build a farm. Spend whatever we can on punishing you guys. See, at least with Moscow, we've got a priest in there. But let's go take him out. <laughs> Could demand surrender, but it would seem unbefitting of the status of Moscow to demand surrender rather than actually trying and taking it. Not that it'll take very long, because they've not got... Then again, we've not got a lot of infantry either, so... all our artillery forward. Not going to do anything super clever. Not that I do anything clever. Or any, not, not that I usually do anything clever. But I'm going to more generally wrap around the front 
I'm going to attack the front and then maybe some of the sides. If I hit quick climb, what can you hit? Just hit those engineers. Any misses actually hit a mortar garrison and killed a bunch of them. Let's speed up time a little bit. To be honest, I might just round shot you guys to hit the fort as well. Actually, one of you is going to hit this unit of line infantry. Oh no, don't worry. Screw them all together. Knock down this section of the wall. Aim for that section. To be honest, I am tempted to just drop them here and try to let any near misses just go buff and kill. How can... I was going to say, I've got all these range rings for... I've got all these range rings for my quick climbing howitzers and it didn't seem right at all. Trouble is, I've, got, I've not got good morale anyway. There you go, that's the lad I want to try to get rid of. Although it doesn't... They've only got one mortar functioning now, which is useful. Push my men up. should start opening up soon. Only one of them though. There we go. Might be to lure, lure their cavalry out. should do some quick work against those lance to guard. Well, once my camels knock them out fairly quickly. Watch out, the engineers have put down stakes. infantry. Only 16 of them. Sound bug. Dang, Nabbit. I thought I fixed this. Okay, cavalry. Hunker down. I want my pikes to go through the breaches first. Well, I'm okay with some of these guys 
taking up positions near the walls. Looks like they are going to do a sally. So let's keep my men running, although it looks like they might have changed their mind. Yeah, they have. the fort now. Yeah, the fly court, I'm going to get shot with infantry, shot by my infantry as they try and come out of the gates. Guards are getting involved. That's okay, because my Israeli are just going to pour through. So I want these. I want these uh, Ottomans to try and flank around and hit them in the rear. Especially my light infantry get up on the walls. If I put them here they could start picking at the cavalry in the centre. Yeah, I'll give them some camels to shoot at. continue to bombard the fort. Throw my Janissary Rifleman away. Same with you guys. Run them to the back. They'll be more able to actually attack the centre doing that. Let's get my general up. I barrel straight into all the cavalry in the centre. It's probably where the general's bodyguard is, somewhere in here. This fella, 21st Light Horse. There we go. And that's it. <laughs> the Ottomans have it. As we slice through Moscow. Well, we attack the Prussian invader. Awesome. So we lost 500, 300 men doing that. And obviously they hate us as much as they hated the Prussians, but what we have in our power is to destroy this college. So we're minus 14, the college is 17. So if we destroy the college, that actually just fixes the problem. You guys, I want you to get onto the bridge and replenish for one more turn before you sally out and hit them. I think apart from that, a bunch of traits have been gained. Neutralize. 
Try and assassinate Kurt Von... Sch oh, Mr. Von Schwelling. One in five chance, roughly. Nope. They spotted him. Okay, in which case you guys go up to... Hmm, I don't know. Where do you go? You may go on towards Vilnius. Because you're ready to rock and roll, but I don't want to push you towards Minsk yet. Yeah, you've switched on short and carbines, which I don't want. But there's literally nothing else for you to research, unless I got you to do one of these happy, um, physiocracy texts. But I don't really, not physiocracy, political texts. Philosophical texts, that's the one. Don't really want to do that, so I'm going to hit and turn, let everything, everything gear up for one more place. And there we go. I think we've well, we've definitely broken the back of the Prussian position in Russia. They demand trade, and they, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> I'll trade with you, Spain, because I'm currently one of the only nations that doesn't actually, not actually at war with you. But right now, I think our plan's gone quite well. Soon we will be at war with um, Sweden. They will declare on us at some point. Damn, I was hoping I could lure them into a bridge battle. But if they, if and when they declare on us, then we will destroy them also. And I'm looking forward to capturing some a Baltic port in order to be able to build a navy in the north without having to sail it all the way around. Mirod, farmland, yeah, this fella. There we go, we've knocked down the college and we fixed a lot of problems. Let's upgrade the Winter Palace, the Military Academy, to be able to fix everything. Fix our army. Let's build this, let's repair the Pleasure Gardens, let's upgrade you to a Smith's. And repair the Weaver's Cottage and... New town emerges, Nayaf in Mesopotamia. Upgrade you to the Smiths. You to a new farm. Obviously, all of the upgrades here. 121 gold growth a turn. That's huge. First of all, though, start in Ankara and Istanbul and work our way out. Keep upgrading these farms because they've got actually if I cancel that I can upgrade this to an industrial mining complex. Some good upgrades. Get this galley to occupy Berg Burgas, Burgas. Workers were I in Moscow, but now they are fine. As the army desperately tries to replenish as quickly as possible. You move up towards St. Petersburg. You've already got your next target. You keep moving to Arkhangelsk. Moscow's a big old region. Let's build a small madrasa so I can keep my priests marching forward. That's a good idea. And then this fella, Ahmed Siri. Well, actually, what I might do is get. No, let's do it this way. First of all, oh, I can't fix the farmland. Can't fix anything. Go attack Oster farmland. But looking at the timer, I believe, or it's about to be, the end of this episode. And I think things have gone quite well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire and the Islamic Empire marches on. Cheers, everyone.